So what we have here is a demonstration system built by one of my colleagues that uses a permanent magnet alternator. It happens to be based on the stator assembly for a Delco Remi uh, 10 SI alternator. So it's got 14 pole stator. <clears throat> In this case, a permanent magnet rotor. And this is the crude handle we've got for it right now. That outputs low voltage, three phase power. That comes out of this connector here into a homemade three phase bridge rectifier assembly, outputting DC to the red and black leads over to a set of loads. So here we've got a set of nice switches, we've got a buzzer, we've got an electric motor, and uh, we've got a few light bulbs there. So I'll have my colleague here demonstrate it. So cranking it right there. Right now, no loads are turned on. But then we close one of those switches, and you can start to see a light bulb glow. Pretty cool that you can actually see something happening at this low shaft speed. Measured on a voltmeter, we're looking at somewhere around the neighborhood of 5 volts at this shaft speed. Now he's closing the switch for a motor, so we have three light bulbs and a motor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the side of the speaker. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not working now. Try disconnecting the other loads. Might be loading it down too much. Huh. No? Oh, we've mm. got a fault there. Oh well. Yeah. So yeah, this is a demonstration. The idea of this would be part of a museum exhibit, hands-on museum exhibit for kids to understand how electric power generation works. So just want to show it's really fairly simple to put together a demonstration unit using pieces like this. This particular generator was sold by a company that manufactures them for small-scale wind turbines. Do you recall which <laughs> company that was that? Was no, I just wind? found it in our, in our uh, classroom. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Someone abandoned it. All right, well. And I can't find it. Yeah. yeah. I know there's a company called Missouri Wind and Solar that makes something similar to this, if not the huh. exact model. So if I recall correctly, that was around the $250 mark. And then everything else is pretty much you know commodity items, little yeah. knife switches and lamps. But with this uh, fairly powerful magnet rotor, you can get a usable amount of voltage out of it at a very low shaft speed. So it makes for a great demonstration unit. And again, it's three-phase AC, so you can do all kinds of useful stuff with that. Mm -hmm.